Right. Welcome to this lab. We were looking at DNS poisoning with the tool BetterCap. Very cool tool here. Um, we're going to understand how DNS poisoning attacks operate. So you're going to need your Kali box and Windows box and PFSense. So always make sure that they are talking to each other. So first thing we're going to need is to make sure you've got your better cap installed. So I'm going to go to my Kali machine here. And I'm going to resize to fit in the window here. Okay. So let me go ahead and stop this. Yeah, stop this. There we go. Clear out. And First thing we want to do is we want to always run apt get update nash y right make sure you're uh, got a spell right there we go All right always make sure your Kali you're working with the latest uh, repository and apt install better cap so yes please install and i think i am running cali 2019 in this version here, I think. Let me see. U name SR. U name. Man. Let's see. Let's try this. U name dash A for all. Looks like, uh, yep, Cali 2019. All right, so if you have problems, maybe try a different version of Kali, but on mine, I'm running Kali 2019 in this one. All right, so next, we what, what we want to do is um, we want to upload some web files onto this machine. You can get those from your Extra Labs um, folder here. So I'm going to go to other locations on mine, and let's see if I have my my shared folder set up here. Whoops. There we go. Devices, shared folder settings. Let's add that. Other. Let's see, downloads. Okay. Open, auto mount. Okay. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to transfer those files. I'll be right back. All right. So I have moved my files over um, to my Kali machine, the cred.php image index and web page. So as you can guess from these descriptions, we are going to be using a web page and uh, we want to see if we got Apache installed so let me just do a quick check here service Apache 2 status and I do looks like it is okay so it looks like I, I have it but it's not started which is okay all right so what they want us to do is they want us to upload um, our fake website so what we can do is they want us to go ahead and see what we have our, um, on our var www.html uh, location here. So let's go ahead and go back. And I want to go to other locations. I want to go to computer. And we can do this a couple ways. We can do it from the command line or uh, from the GUI. Right, so I'm doing it from the GUI. I'm just checking to see 
what I currently have in my web folder here. And I have got a couple of stuff here. So basically, let's go ahead and back up everything here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my command line and I'm going to navigate to var slash www, right? And I'm going to copy everything in my, H, in my HTML folder to my desktop. So that's what I'm doing right here. So CP is copy dash A and HTML is the location slash dot means everything. And I'm going to copy it to root slash desktop. All right. And as you see here, all those files that were here right now reside on my desktop. So what that means is I am now free to um, remove some stuff here. So I can go ahead, I can safely remove everything in here. So let me do that CD HTML and I'm going to do RM star, right? This is a star means everything. So as you see here, oh, let's do RM uh, dash uh, I think it's rm-rf star. There we go. That's the recursive and force. So now we are nice and empty in my HTML folder. So what I can do now is I can navigate back to my documents folder and move those files over here. So let me do that. Let's go ahead and go let's clear this up and we'll go to documents, right? Yep, that's where I moved everything. So I'm just going to do a, a move this time here. So I'm going to do mv star slash var slash www and move everything over to my HTML directory here. All right. All right, everything is there now. Good. All right. So next, I want to start my Apache service here. So I'm going to do service, Apache 2, and start. And we can verify it by doing service, Apache 2 status. Apache 2 is running. OK. Next, I can verify the page is loaded by just going to my local host here. So let's do that. Let's go to local host. Oh, do not have permission. That is okay. Let's do, probably just need to change my uh, permissions there, but let's do 127.0.0.1. Yep. Okay. So I got to change the files. Let's see what I got here. Let's do Q. And let's do var www.html. Let's see who owns everything and who am I? Root. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's do this uh, ch mod 755 star. Whoops. Let me see what is going on with my permissions and I'll be right back. All right. So for me, it was a permission issue, let me tell you what I did. So basically, I changed the um, changed the permissions of the files. You see right here, they're just read, write, no execute. So I changed the actual um, permissions of the entire folder here, var w html. Then I went ahead and restarted the web service. So if you look at ls-lsa now, you're going to see that my permissions have changed. So if you have any issues, try that and you see right here 
color change, I've got execute permission. I can view stuff and uh, just to show you, there you go, reload page. So we are happy here and our fake website is up and running. So that's all good. So next we want to um, do the man in the middle, the on path attack. And with this one, we're gonna go back to better cap and use that tool to actually um, act as a man in the middle and we're going to poison our ARP table. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to minimize and minimize and clear this out and I'm going to do better cap. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and become on path. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to spoof our um, Windows VM. So let's go ahead and uh, verify what our Windows VM here is here. So let's do IP config 1.108. Okay, that did not change. We're gonna we're gonna use that for later. So let's do this. So first thing we want to do is type in set ARP spoof dot target and 192.168.1.108 all right and next we want to start our ARP spoof. So let's do ARP dot spoof on. All right, we are turning it on. All right, we get our message here. It says ARP spoofing enabled starting. Uh, let's see, yep. It says we have detected our computer here. All right, so it looks good there. Right. So next we want to check our targets ARP table to verify the attack was successful. So let's see, we are looking for, let's see, we got this new IP address right here, change to FC. Let's see what we got on our Windows side. So I'm gonna go back to Windows here and open up command prompt and I'm gonna do ARP. dash a and we're there looking for our our ARP entries here okay let's see if we got the same thing yep we got uh, multiple addresses here happy with that all right, let's keep looking here. So next we're gonna spoof our DNS here. All right, so like I said, we, we, we verify we got our MAC address here. Let's go ahead and spoof the, the DNS. And basically what we wanna do is we wanna fool our users into, into going to a fake website. So if they type in yahoo.com, they're, they're gonna be going to our website. So next we want to do is we want to set DNS dot spoof domains yahoo.com. All right. And next we want to set the address of our Kali machine, right? Set this to spoof our Kali machine's IP address. So we're going to do set DNS dot spoof dot address 192.168.1.100 I believe that's what we got here let's verify that 1.100 just one more check IP ADR 1.100 okay very good let's go ahead and press enter here
And next, I want to type DNS dot spoof on. Oh, I am getting an error. It says at least DNS spoof host or DNS spoof domains must be filled. Let me go back and check my syntax here. See if I have a little typo somewhere. Knowing me, that is probably the case. All right, let's see what I got. Dot domains. And then dot address. DNS dot spoof on. Let's see. Oh, look at me. I cannot spell spoot on. Okay. So now it says, here we go. This is not an error anymore. This is an informational log. DNS spoof yahoo.com is now spoofed to or mapped to 192.168.1.100. All right. So now we want to go to our Windows machine and let's see if our attack was successful. Let's see if we were able to spoof DNS here. So we're going to open up our um, web browser here and let's see what we can find. Close this and let's go to www.yahoo.com. Whoops, no S. That doesn't work. We'll try this. 192.168.1.100. All right, so it looks like Edge. Yep, looks like Edge is uh, getting in the way here. But as you see, when we go here, we have our web page here, www.yahoo.com. So we are happy with this one. All right, so again, let's go back and take a look at our Kali. Let's see, DNF spoof, yep, yahoo.com. And then it yeah, looks like, uh, here we go. DNS spoof sending spoof DNS reply for yahoo.com. And it sent it to there. All right, I'll see you in the next one.